The diastolic murmur of tricuspid stenosis is similar to that of mitral stenosis, except that it is heard best at the left lateral sternal border and may radiate to the apex or the ziphoid. Late diastolic murmur. A late diastolic murmur occurs in the latter half of diastole, synchronous with atrial contraction, and extends to the first sound. Although occasionally occurring alone, it is usually a component of the longer diastolic murmur of mitral stenosis or tricuspid stenosis. This murmur is low in frequency and rumbling in quality. It is best heard with the bell lightly held. Listen to a late diastolic murmur. Continuous murmur. A continuous murmur usually begins during systole and extends through the second sound and throughout the diastolic period. It is usually produced as a result of one of four mechanisms. One, an abnormal communication between an artery and vein. Two, an abnormal communication between the aorta and the right side of the heart or with the left atrium. 3. An abnormal increase in flow or constriction in an artery. And 4. Increased or turbulent blood flow through veins. Patent ductus arteriosus, PDA, is the classical example of this murmur. This condition is usually corrected in childhood. It is heard best at base left and is usually easily audible with the bell or diaphragm. Another example of a continuous murmur is the so-called venous hum. But in this instance, one hears a constant roaring sound, which changes little with the cardiac cycle. Now, listen to the typical murmur of patent ductus arteriosus recorded at base left. Pericardial friction rub. In a pericardial friction rub, there are three sounds, one systolic and two diastolic. The systolic sound may occur anywhere in systole, and the two diastolic sounds occur at the times the ventricles are stretched. This stretching occurs in early diastole and at the end of diastole. The pericardial friction rub has a scratching, grating, or squeaking leathery quality. It tends to be high in frequency and best heard with a diaphragm. A pericardial friction rub is a sign of pericardial inflammation and may be heard in infective pericarditis, in myocardial infarction, following cardiac surgery, trauma, and in autoimmune problems such as rheumatic fever. They are frequently best heard at the left lateral sternal border, with a patient leaning forward or lying supine in deep expiration. To simulate a pericardial friction rub, grasp the diaphragm of the stethoscope in the palm of your hand and then rub the back of that hand with the finger of your other hand. The following example displays a typical friction rub recorded at the left sternal border of a male with pericarditis. Both the systolic and diastolic components of the rub are heard. Cardiac auscultation post-test. For questions 18 through 25, listen to each of the heart sounds and identify it from the following list. Wide split, S2. Normal split, S1. S3. 
pan-systolic murmur. Opening snap. Diastolic rumble. Summation gallop. Ejection click. 18. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. 